Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking about STEM. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Maths. And today I'm going to talk about being a black woman in STEM. I'm going to be talking about the graduate perspective because obviously I haven't been in the workforce. So I'm just going to talk about being a student, black woman in a STEM environment. <laughs> So I studied civil and transportation engineering at university and throughout my years I was the only black female in my course. Throughout all my years of university the only black female, <laughs> yeah. And I feel like the years that it really affected me was first year and final year first year because I entered uni thinking oh my gosh I'm entering uni a new environment a new course I can't wait to see people that I can make friends with and people that also look like me low and below <laughs> low and below I was the only one that looked like myself you know out of the whole class there was like three women and the rest were men <laughs> men you know so that was even discouraging at first and then for me to be the only black woman there i was like right and don't get me wrong i'm not saying that i can't make friends with people from other backgrounds or ethnicities that's not what i'm saying but what i'm saying is that it's nice to have someone to relate with you know even if it was a lecturer, <laughs> even if it was a black female lecturer, I would have been grateful, but none of the above. <laughs> it really makes a difference in terms of like making friends and acquaintances, especially being older. When you're younger, you make friends so easily, do you get what I'm saying? But when you're older, people tend to go with those that they feel like they can relate with a lot. And, you know, subconsciously people tend to, you know, gravitate towards those that, you know, look like them, you know? Like, in my class, like, at the beginning, all the males, all the white males were together, the black males were together, the foreigners were together, you know, that's literally how it was. Because you just gravitate towards people that look like you because they can identify with you. And sometimes they have the same kind of mindset that you do as well, you know. So unfortunately, I went through first year with making no friends. Yes, I talked to my course mates, you know, because we're on the same course. But that was about it. No one really made the effort to become friends with me. I didn't make the effort to become friends with anybody else. Like, we'll just talk because we're in the same class. And, like, you know, that the, the course was the only thing that joined us together. Apart from that, nothing else. Like, I would never go out with my uni course mates after lectures. Like, nothing like that. You know? And, like, obviously, people say, yeah, you're there to study at uni and that's it. But, no, like making friends is also part of the experience as well and it was a shame that i didn't make any on my course in first year because the thing is when you talk to a lot of people you can always hear people say that if it wasn't for this person i wouldn't have graduated Do you get what i'm saying because you bounce off others because let me not lie to you sometimes the lecturers are not up to <clears throat> Sometimes the lecturers are not giving you your £9,250 worth of lectures. So sometimes you need to bounce off somebody else, you know. And when you're the only person that looks like yourself in the room, it's hard to, you know, do that. <laughs> and I'm not saying that I didn't make friends at uni because I made a lot of friends outside of my course. But in my course specifically, first year... So second year comes, you know, same old, same old. But when I got into class, I saw this new girl and she's Caucasian. And I was like, okay, let me just sit next to her and we sat next to each other. And I said hello to her. And that was the start of a beautiful friendship. Like, ugh. Bex, I love you so much. Like, ah, uh, like, the thing is, when we first started talking and talking, I was just in denial. I was like, Nah, this girl's not my friend, she's just my course mate. I was just so used to not having any friends on my course, but as time went on, as I feel like third year was the year where we became like friends, you know, like 
we just got to talking like outside of uni you know that's what i knew that okay we actually do have something more than just being course mates even though i did make a friend but there was still something missing you know that relatability and i feel like as much as i can say that yeah beck is my girl but there's certain things that she just can't relate or understand you know like because she just hasn't lived in my shoes and i feel like what makes it worse is that so many people from my course were from the midlands because i went to uni in the midlands so so many people were from up there and i was literally the only one from south of england you know so like no one had that same kind of upbringing as i did you know so some of the jokes that i wanted to get off no one could relate <laughs> now putting friends aside lecturers <laughs> there was no black lecturers on my course I'm not even to talk of black female you know there was two females both caucasian both not black both not as relatable as could be you know it would have been so nice to have like a black woman lecturer like you know teaching me like it would just make me feel like oh, okay she can do it i can do it too like you need know, can it can really discourage you sometimes and sometimes you need motivation but how can i be motivated when no one around me looks like me so i just feel like oh, can i even do this no one that looks like me is here like what am i actually doing you know whereas a white man could look at his white lecturer and think oh yeah pete got there i can get there too but i had no one to say you know she got there i can get there too you know so i do feel like there needs to be more black women or even black teachers first of all in education you know because i feel like it really does have an impact in terms of racism it's not as if someone was outrightly racist to me however there were comments made that could be perceived as racially ignorant or stereotypical you know like there's one lecture that i had that always made racial jokes and it wasn't funny <laughs> but when the majority of the class is of caucasian descent <laughs> what can you actually do but to give a little giggle aha aha that was so funny <laughs> but it wasn't you know like when no one is there to you know back you or when no one is there to like you know discuss and say yo like what that lecturer said surely that was a bit ignorant kind of thing like we're just there by yourself it's just like okay and just little things like oh yeah how do you pronounce your name uh -huh, that's hard to pronounce and oh oh where are you from all oh, right nigeria okay have they found your girls yet that's not funny at all you know but when there's no one that looks like you who am i actually going to report to when no one can actually understand why i would feel some type of way how could i report me feeling uncomfortable because someone is making racial jokes when the person i'm reporting to cannot understand where i'm coming from you know i feel like we need to remember that lecturers are still human beings lecturers have the ability to be racist lecturers have the ability not to like black people for one reason or the other and there was a guy in my lectures that said throughout his school years before uni there was only one mixed race person in his class one so i'm like the first full black person that he's actually spoken to like do you know how weird that is in 2019 sometimes i forget that black people are a minority because i live down south so there is more you know black people and you know people from different races here up north oh that's when the minority will really show and some people just haven't come across a black person yet you know and the only black people they've seen is people on tv and imagine if they watch just a scattered show that doesn't show us in the best light and then they come across me what are they actually gonna think you know and yeah i just feel i just feel like i was just carrying the burden of 
being the best example of a black person to people when I'm just me, you know? I'm bouncing off that point. That's why I say that I wish there were more people that looked like me because it's not as if I don't want to, you know, make friends with Caucasian people. Like, there's not, I, I have Caucasian friends. There's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes you just don't want to be you know, carrying that burden of, you know, answering all their black questions. How about that? Sometimes maybe I just want to talk about what's on TV. Maybe I don't want to be answering, you know, if I wear sunscreen or not. You know, you know, like sometimes. And during my time at uni, I went to a lot of STEM events. So in terms of maths, I went to a math society at my uni. And um, not only was I the black, the only black woman there, I was the only black person there. Full stop. You know, no one talked to me. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cry. Wow. No one talked to me. No one said hello, whatever. Like, no, like, I would be coming there and, like, you know, people would just be talking to each other because they just all look the same. I was just sticking out like a sore thumb, yet I was still unnoticeable. And I think that like, I'm very approachable. Like, I don't have, like, a sad you know blunt face or anything like that like I feel like I'm very approachable and I like talking to people like I like making acquaintances with people but I just felt like in that environment no one was even looking my way for me to even you know say hi or anything like that so I literally just slid in the class slid in out you know no one noticed if I was there or not like yeah that needs to change because boy in terms of engineering events, I used to go to these civil engineering events around my uni and um, that's where other civil engineers would be there as well so you can just like network and stuff. <sighs> Yet again, the only black girl there, you know, and it's like, you just, I don't know, it's like, it just feels like a force and it's just, I just feel like no one wanted to talk to me as well, like, I don't know if it's me. <laughs> I don't know what it is, you know, but yeah, I'm just showing, I'm just sharing my own experiences that I feel like maybe one of the reasons why I'm such an outgoing person is because I've been forced to, because if I don't make the move to show people my personality, no one will come and talk to me, you know? So like, I feel like in these engineering events, like it was a networking event so you know you had to talk to people you can't just be sitting there in the corner you know so i had to like go up to people and say hi you know what do you do blah 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 you know so it's really made me you know come out of my comfort zone and just be very outgoing you know so uh if you ask anyone i know how to have a conversation you know because i've been forced to <laughs> and in terms of tech i went to this technology event and i saw the event on eventbrite so this was open for all ages i think i was the youngest person there plus they said free food so i said let me go you know so i went there and yet again i was the only black woman there and um yeah it was kind of like a networking event as well so i was talking to these older men all experienced i'm just a little graduate you know i was talking to them they'll talk to me and then like they'll just go off and or someone else will come interrupt the conversation and just take their attention so i was like oh let me just walk away you know so i was just standing there no one came up to me to initiate conversation. I had to initiate conversation with other people. But thankfully, there was this black man there. And I think he saw me in the corner just looking down or whatever. And he came up to me. We started talking. And we networked and stuff. And I was with him the whole night. So I was very grateful for that. But I just feel like if there wasn't another black person there, is that how no one would have, like, come up to me, you know? And I think it's just not as if you can't see me. <laughs> Like, if I'm in the room with a bunch of Caucasian people, I will stick out like a sore thumb, you know, plus I'm very tall. So it's just like, first of all, why is there like hardly any black females in STEM events? Like, what's going on there? Like, I don't understand. And two, okay, I've now come to the event. Why doesn't no one want to socialise with me? 
all in all the stem field is very very male dominated you know there's only a very small percentage of women in stem and then part of that very small percentage an even smaller percentage is black women you know and i feel like there needs to be more and i feel like we can do it i just don't know why not many black women are going into stem you know like we really need to you know close in on this gap but I'm going to do my bit anyways. I'm definitely going to try and do talks in like high schools and in sixth forms and colleges to encourage more women and black women to enter into the STEM fields and close the gap and make them realise that you're smart enough to do this as well. Like if Jack can do it, why can't you do it? Like being a female shouldn't hinder you from trying STEM courses, you know? And one thing I really, really want to do is have a bursary in my university for black women in STEM courses. So for one of them to win £100 at the end of third year, like I really want to set that up. So I'm really going to contact my uni to see if that's possible, if I could be like an award giver, you know. So I feel like that would be amazing to just encourage black women to, you know, keep on going you know even though i can't be there physically to you know lecture them at at uni i could be a part of them by you know giving back and giving a bursary so they know that okay a black woman once did this course once was in stem and she made it you know i can make it too so yeah <laughs> that's the end of my video please write a comment below on what you think of the topics that i've discussed in this video i'm very intrigued to see if anybody else out there has felt the same way or can relate to what i'm saying um thank you guys so much for watching my video and i will see you in my next video bye